Coca-Cola's glowing lightsaber bottles are the first flexible OLED tech in a consumer product. I don't know if they're the first. I don't know. I modified Gizmodo's headline there. It's the first I've seen in a product you can actually buy on the shelf. That, now that is the Blade Runner I want to participate in. Mm. I, I mean, just look at that, Will. In the future, you walk into a supermarket. I want OLED on every, not a supermarket, uh, like a 7-Eleven. Mm. OLED on everything in the 7-Eleven. And the, the actual space is kind of dark because everything's glowing in the 7-Eleven. Can I go to that 7-Eleven? In Singapore, will you allow me to do that? Yeah. Is this Singapore? Where is this? Is it Singapore? It might not be. I might have got that wrong. Yeah. Coca-Cola Singapore. Singapore. Yeah, of course this is in Singapore. This kind of cool stuff can't happen here. That has to be in Singapore. So, so I don't know who's going to go, me or you, but we got to go get one of these. The problem is, okay, I should just uh, probably describe this a little better. You have a glowing lightsaber. To, to market the launch of the new Star Wars. And there's two versions of this Coca-Cola bottle with the glowing lightsaber on it. You either get the blue lightsaber. What's her name? Ray. You get the uh, you get the Ray glowing blue lightsaber, or you get the Kylo Ren. Which one do you want, Will? Which one would you want to uh, for as a collector? Uh I don't know. They're both cool. Hey I'm man, good. I'm good. Hey way. man, which one did you take? Which one do you take? Uh, I don't know. I'll take the blue one. You take the blue one. Sure. Okay. So you took the light side, not the dark side. <laughs> yes. All right. Why, why not? Okay. All right. Will he do? I mean, the word is out. So these are launching on the sixth of December, and they're going to be incredibly limited. There will be eight thousand. Let me see if I'm right on that. I believe it's eight thousand units. And they're going to be available at random stores in low volumes so that no one can start lining up and try to buy them all and resell them on eBay. They're just going to pop up randomly. Now, there's a little button kind of hidden under the label that you press to illuminate the OLED lightsaber. But it does have a lifespan to it because obviously this thing is very small and slim. So you can't put a huge battery in there you are capable of lighting that OLED for around 40 minutes in total. Hmm. So if you do find one of these, don't go don't go full madness mode launching that OLED because uh, your collector's item isn't going to be nearly as cool if you wipe it out. That said, maybe have fun with it too because, I don't know, probably the battery will degrade eventually anyways. Hmm. And, and who knows if collectors are even going to get their hands on it. It's probably just regular people on social media going to get their hands on it. There is a post on Instagram of a person actually showcasing how it works. You can play that video real quick. So he squeezes the side of it here and look at that, it lights up. That's so cool. Now, of course, we've seen OLED in very expensive products. It's cool to see it pop up in less expensive products. Other people can participate. And it's one of the advantages of this particular technology, the fact that uh, you don't need, in, in, uh, you don't need nearly as much of a structure around it for, for the technology to work and it's insight into an eventual rollable OLED future in which your billboards and, and your your light posts and whatnot are covered yeah. in Blade Runner-esque luminescence. The fact that it's in a Coke bottle is pretty impressive. It's cool, me. right? Like <laughs> it makes me uh, figure out all these questions of like, where's the battery go? There's mm -hmm. liquid there. Yeah. You know. No no backlight necessary. Ultra thin panel. Good on Coca-Cola. I think this is a really cool um, a marketing idea. And maybe some, maybe one of our fans from Singapore can send us one. Show up on a show. I'll put it right here hmm. and give you a shout out. Probably not, but I don't know. Do we have any fans in Singapore? Shout out Singapore. 